Okay, let me read this now. I'm going to call it the moon problem. Seems like the moon is waking up. My hair is talking to a video. Talking about that. Is it going to be taken off orbit? Emotional disturbance caused by tension between the moon, between the moon and sun. Here is a video. This used to be on YouTube, but apparently it's been removed or something. That's where I got that idea from this video. Um, there's a source. <laughs> I think most of surface humanity, us, are going to be wiped out in a great mass extinction event in the not too distant future. Perhaps around 2030 to 2033. This mass extinction event may be caused by deorbiting the moon or a solar flare or something. Who knows? Geomagnetic pole shift. Maybe. But those all could be related to <laughs> the deorbiting of the moon, maybe. The evolution of the Earth. Cosmic perspective, or the continued terraforming project of this planet, Elohim perspective, may require taking the moon out of orbit. When I say cosmic perspective, what I'm saying is that the creator of the universe, uh, an intelligent being, uh, is using the Elohim to terraform the earth in this manner when that's the cosmic perspective but if if you take it from the perspective of oh this is this has nothing to do with the creator of the universe this has to do with an alien species using humans to terraform this planet that's the elohim perspective there's two ways of looking at the uh idea looking at the two way of a uh, two way Two different ways of framing the same phenomenon, which is deorbiting the moon. In order to introduce advanced technology and make this planet like the Elohim's home planet, uh, you know, maybe their planet looks. <sighs> Current humans have to give way to humans with psychic capabilities and are more. <sighs> And with, with a more stable emotional temperament. I think the government, the cabal, knows this. This is why they want to keep the UFO topic a secret. They don't want to cause mass, uh, mass panic. <laughs> What's my spelling? This process may be beyond our control. We were created by them, the Elohim. They have been manipulating and controlling us from the very beginning. We are a slave workforce to them. The invading party, like, we, like the first group <laughs> um, and mercenary soldiers when needed. I guess now I know what cattle feel like, or what it feels like to be cattle slaves. You don't have mm, the power to stop them. As it says in that Star Trek story about the Borg, resistance is futile. Maybe it's better the masses don't know. Spare them this angst and grief. I hate this. I hate to be in this position. If I am wrong, good. But if I am right and we are being herded into extinction and there's nothing we can do about it, well, I guess I just have to find a way to make peace with myself. Find some sol solace in the moment. It may not 
even be worth warning the people about what's to come. Most won't believe it anyhow. Or may be psychologically repelled to such thought. Well, what can you do, eh? We are going ex extinct, and the people who come after us may also be manipulated and controlled. The story of our destruction may be hidden from them, just as the story of the destruction of our ancestors, the Atlanteans, is hidden from us. Um, or at best seen as myth, and so the process goes on. These Elohim are creating us and using us to terraform this planet. I hate these guys. Maybe this is the cause of the wars in the past. Maybe the humans of the past, Atlanteans and the generation before, fought the Elohim because they didn't want to be used as slaves. And as a result, got wiped out in the process by the Elohim. Uh, by the Elohim. Uh, the truth is for us. If the Lassiter files are to be believed, and I find them credible, and I find them to be credible, then yes, there was a war between the Elohim and the Terran reptiles as uh, as well. As it was said in the Lassiter files, some of the Elohim fought amongst themselves over the continued creation of humanity. Perhaps it was due to... Uh, perhaps it was due to this reason, which I explain here. Uh, some Elohim did not like creating humans, only to use them as slaves and then wipe them out. Perhaps these Elohim developed relationships with the humans, the Nephilim, fallen angels, and did not like the way these humans were being farmed like cattle. It's like... It's like if you have a pet, you have a pet cat or a pet dog, uh, even though the dog, you might think it's inferior or whatever, or it doesn't have, uh, it's not like you, you still have an affection for the dog, an emotional connection. And maybe you don't like the dog being <laughs> treated a certain way. You know how people develop uh, emotional connections to farm animals. So maybe some of these Elohim didn't like humans being treated like this. Here is the relevant quote from the Lassiter files. There was a long war between us and the Elohim, that's how it's written there, and also between certain groups of the Elohim themselves, because look at that, many of them, oh, many of them were the opinion that the again and again creation of human species on this planet makes no real sense. I wonder why, I wonder why. I hate, I hate this Elohim. Oh, maybe these. If they want to terraform this planet, let them do this themselves. I don't want to be used as a tool. Maybe this is the curse that comes from eating the forbidden fruit in the garden of... Uh, oh my goodness, Eden. <laughs> this is what happens when you gain the knowledge of good and evil. You can gain moral objection to being used as a slave, as cattle. I've, I've sort of talked about this before. It is cruel to create humans who have this moral sense and use them as a slave labor force as cattle. I think the serpent, the Terran reptilians, really messed us up if it, if it was they who, did, who created this morality in us. A moral DNA or part of a DNA, moral DNA or intelligence or something. Whoever created this moral sensibility in humans really put us in a bind. Serpent Terran reptilians cannot be seen as our friends. Maybe some of them are, maybe some of them are not. I don't know. They just wanted to spoil the plans of the Elohim. They want to they wanted to make us difficult to control. Because now we will not accept any horrible treatment from the Elohim. But the Elohim are too powerful. They will and have destroyed us. Just look at the biblical stories of the many times God genocided the people. 
I think the Bible is full of stories like this. I read a comment that Lacerta and presumably the other reptilians left Earth in 2015. And and some I read someone else mentioned that maybe this is like a an evacuation <laughs> operation. 2015. Is this in advance of the moon being deorbited? Uh, there are stories of arcs being activated at this time. Is this an evac evac evacuation process before another cata another impending cataclysmic event on earth seems that way to me yes there are arcs space arcs being activated the arcs are going to contain the dna of all the different animals like Noah's arc they're going to be taken off orbit or, or something i don't know and maybe when they take the moon out of the orbit of um, uh, of the Earth, the tides will start <laughs> changing. There could be earthquakes, volcanoes. Most of surface humanity may be wiped out, but maybe the bases underneath the Earth, you know, miles deep underneath the Earth, and maybe bases on the moon or Mars. I heard, that, I heard that there's a human colony on Mars and they don't even know that the Earth, they, they, the human colony on Mars thinks that there is no life on Earth. They've been told that Earth was wiped out. And maybe these people are, are after this great cataclysmic event in 2030 when most of surface humanity is wiped out. These people from Mars are gonna, might be brought back to Earth and they might continue the whole terraforming project you know, if you take the moon out of the orbit, uh, uh, the Earth's the 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 emotional uh, temperament of the humans on Earth might be more stable, so they might not be as aggressive or violent. And 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 this is the you know the breakaway civilization coming back, as people have suggested. You know, it's not my idea, but but I'm just trying to like connect the dots. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, that's how they're going to proceed. They're going to get rid of us. You know, the great reset depopulation. You can think of that as some kind of a humane way. The cure, which was instituted worldwide, maybe that's designed to cause infertility, or or it contains these nanobots and you know all of these satellites around the Earth and the five G. And wirelessly, at the, uh, right before they have to deorbit the Earth, or so right before this cataclysmic event, uh, they're going to activate it. The signal they're going to give the signal wirelessly, and the nanobots in our bloodstreams are going to like, uh, you know, get activated, and they're going to create clots <laughs> and heart attacks. As as you can see, this happening already to in a small degree. And then on the humans, in, so you're going to get these humans to die out and spare them the horror of having to live through earthquakes and, and, and volcanoes and all of that. Uh, you know, if you take the moon off orbit, that's going to create huge problems on Earth. So maybe the, the, the cure, which was uh, recently given, and I think, you know, they're planning for disease X. This might be another excuse to create. Maybe the first one was just like a trial run. Uh, they might have just they might have been used that to create a genetic database. And and I've heard this. You know the Russians they they were they found all these labs in Ukraine, and they were apparently cre trying to create viruses that attack genetics, the genetics of certain population groups. So maybe the the cure was actually in uh, wasn't. Was a, was an attempt to create a worldwide genetic database. And they're going to use that database to create the next version uh, planned in the future. Uh, you know, they use this first as a trial run to 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 um, figure out how to kind of create like all this infrastructure and the laws and and, and you know how to how to create uh, you know s set things up so in the future they can. Uh, um, uh, induce this new disease and then a new cure for that and, and that'll um, put all these bots in the people and right before 
the extinction event happens, they will send the signal, the bots can activate it, there will be a mass <laughs> extinction, but the death might be less traumatic, you know, like uh, it might be so traumatic going through earthquakes and all of that. But if you die out because of rather quickly, relatively quickly, uh, that that might be like a humane way <laughs> to put down the, the herd. <laughs> you got the cattle, you need to put them down. And this might be a humane way to do it. Um, that's pretty dark. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, if I was, if I was figuring out a way to do this, make this happen, because you know we're not in control. The Elohim are in control. Then this is for us. This seems like such a horrible thing, but for them, think about it. They they started doing this 1.5 million years ago. There have been. You know, apparently 700,000 years ago was when the sixth version of humanity was created. So for them, the mass extinction doesn't seem like such a big deal as it is to us. To us, it's like the most horrible thing. But for them, you know, they have been thinking about this for millions of years. You know, they are working on a very, their historical timeline is very large. For us, it's like the most horrible thing. We're going to, it's, how can anyone do this? But for them... And that's why some of these Elohim they were, uh, are fighting amongst themselves because they don't like this. But maybe the leadership of the Elohim said, no, wait, this is what we're going to do. But, you know, there's like an other Elohim are saying, no, no, we don't want to do this. This is horrible. This is immoral. You know, so this is like, you know, I hope, I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I am wrong. But this makes a lot of sense to me. All the world events, it makes sense. Why are they doing this 9-11? Why are they doing this, the cure, all this stupid war and all this shit? It's, it, it's all a distraction. It's to keep us full, fighting each other so they can implement their uh, or bigger agenda because their project is a, is a million year project. They're not thinking about the next election or even like 10 years from now they're planning like thousands of years and they've been doing this for thousands of years it is a huge project for them i hope i'm wrong but i don't know man this is sounds pretty this is right this is this is horrible if it's this is right